Hey, what's happening, beautiful people? I'm your host Abhay, and you are watching Learners Log. So, learners, in this third video of Quadcopter Build series, I'm gonna show you guys how to calibrate electronic speed controllers. So, stay tuned with us and watch this video till the end. The components which you guys require in order to calibrate your ESCs are a transmitter, a brushless motor, an electronic speed controller, a receiver, and a LiPo battery. So ESC calibration is basically a process in which your ESC will know which is your highest and the lowest total points on your transmitter. And if you will not calibrate the ESCs, then your ESC will not aware of the highest and the lowest total points. And when you will increase the total on the transmitter, then your motor will work after a certain total limit, which is not accurate one. So, in order to do this calibration process, insert your three colored cable female connector in the throttle channel. In my case, my throttle is at channel number three in the same position as shown in the video. Red cable at the center which is VACC, black at the outside of the receiver which is ground and white at the inside of the receiver which is a signal pin. Now after this place your throttle at the highest point at the maximum throttle value and now connect your LiPo battery to the electronic speed controllers and then you will hear one musical beep from motor and then a single beep from your motor and now at this point your ESCs is aware of the highest throttle point and is waiting to recognize the lowest throttle point. Now bring your throttle stick to the lowest throttle point and you will hear two short beeps and one long beep sound coming from the motor which shows that your ESC has now recognized the highest and the lowest throttle value and now it is calibrated. And if you now increase the total, you will see that your motor will run instantly. This ensures that your ESCs are calibrated and now remove the battery and then again plug it in the ESC and you will get the same result. And I will suggest you guys to go through this process more than one time to ensure that your ESCs are properly calibrated. So friends, this was the video on the ESC calibration. So learners, how do you like our video? Comment down below and let us know about your experience with us. And don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up as it will motivate me to make such videos for you lovely guys out there in future. Till the next video, bye bye. And now I know my